Hello guys, welcome to this 3D Blast tutorial. My name is Carlos Sosa, I'm a 3D artist from Quito, Ecuador. You can check out my work at www.carlososa3d.com and in all my social media with that Carlos Sosa 3D. So in this tutorial we're going to be covering how to use uh, view layers in Blender. And uh, the content we're going to see in this tutorial is first how to create collections, how to use what is called restriction toggles, and then uh, what's the main reason to create and compose using uh, view layers, okay? So let's just dive into Blender right now. Um, actually using the latest version, which is 3.4. So I'll just go ahead and go to blender.org and download it. So let's just create a small scene so I can explain um, why it's so important to use view layers, okay, when you are compositing an image. So let's just delete this cube. I'm going to put a plane. All right. And let's just add a monkey. Control 2 to just subdivide it and then shade it smooth. And I'm just going to put it onto the floor, but I'm going to make sure I put it inside the floor. You're going to see why I'm doing this right now, okay? Let's just explain something later. Uh, let's exaggerate it, okay. Now with 5 I'm going to go to perspective mode and with let's see control control alt 0 I'm just gonna put my camera on my perspective view and then yeah, let's just put it there okay and then I'm gonna just I'm gonna make sure I'm working in cycles and I'm gonna change this lamp I'm gonna make it into an area light so I can start lighting these a little bit. Let's see. Uh, let's make sure our render region is activated. This light is way too way too much. Maybe yeah. like 200 is fine. And I'm just gonna make sure. Well, this is an area. Yeah, it's fine. I'm just going to make sure that the floor, I'm going to change the color of the floor and I want to see this um, shadow, okay, make sure the shadow is showing because it's going to help for the, for the whole explanation. Um, I'm going to put a material into the floor, I'm going to name it floor of course and I'm going to make it red. Let's bring this a little bit, okay. So as you can see the the uh, indirect lighting from the floor that is coming from the light bounces on the floor and uh, reflects and bounces on the on the monkey head so you can see it's turning kind of like also red and that's going to be important for my explanation okay so first things first we need to start creating collections to work with view layers okay the view layers are here see on the upper right corner you can see view layer um, where we'll go there in a moment. What we need to do is just create some new collections to organize these and to work with the view layer. So I'm just gonna select the monkey head and with the letter M I'm gonna send it, I'm gonna create a new collection which I'm gonna name monkey. Monkey, that's okay. And I'm gonna select the floor and do the same thing, letter M, new collection and just name it floor. Perfect, so as you can see now we have three collections. The first one is that the one that comes with uh, when we open a scene and that's the one that has the light and the camera so it, that's that's fine. And we have one that has the monkey, you see I can turn it off and the one that has the floor, so that's good. Alright so the idea of this is that uh, when we make a render we can control and we can have a render separately from the head and then the floor so we can compose it and then maybe just uh, change the color and put different um, render passes onto each one. So what we're gonna do is just um, we're gonna create um, if we okay what the the problem is that sometimes when we want to do this and we want to take first the make a render from the head and make a render from the floor what people usually does is they're just gonna 
turn the floor off and then render it and then turn the monkey off and render it and then you know maybe compose it in Photoshop or here in Blender but the problem with doing that is that if I just turn off the floor I'm gonna lose all of the indirect bouncing light that was coming to the to the monkey head you see you see how it turns red It's because it's bouncing if I just turn it off it's just gonna lose all of that and the same thing if I do that with the monkey head if I just turn it off it's gonna lose all the contact shadows and it's gonna lose the shadow from the monkey that it was there you see I'm not gonna have any contact shadow that is here and I'm not gonna have the shadow the main shadow and if I do that if I don't have that and then I compose both of them together it's gonna look really fake because I don't have the bounce light and I don't have the shadow so it's just gonna be like floating there so in order to do that we need to work with view layers that's why they are so important so I'm gonna make sure on my render that I activate my transparent I'm working on cycles yes uh, and I'm just gonna make a small render like uh, with 50 samples and just make it like 50% also so it doesn't take much time uh, and I'm gonna name okay first thing I'm gonna name this view layer also monkey right so don't get confused with them with the monkey collection this is the view layer and on this view layer what I want to do is I just I only want to see the monkey head see that's why I name it monkey so what I need to activate to do that is my restriction toggles so I'm gonna go to this icon that I think is some I think it's like um, I don't know actually if some of you guys know what it is just write it on the comments I think it's like a glass uh, like a wine glass or something I don't know okay so I'm just gonna activate my restriction toggles all of them see these icons that are not activated I'm just gonna activate them and now you can see them here on the outliner and these ones are pretty cool okay so if I'm looking at my render and if I just press I'm gonna go to the floor collection and if I turn this one that is called hold out look what it's gonna do it's gonna turn off the the floor but it rem and it's gonna keep on the monkey all the uh, indirect bouncing light you see it still it looks like red and if I turn the other one same thing but you're gonna say okay so what's the difference so I'm gonna tell you the difference that's why at the beginning I put the monkey kind of like going inside the floor remember I'm gonna show you um, what each one of those does so the first one the one that is called hold out is the one that we're gonna use because this one is gonna make a mask so it's gonna mask out the the floor or the intersecting part of the floor if I use the other one the one that is called um, what's what's it called indirect only see what's doing it's making the the cut but it's still showing the part of the monkey that was um, inside the floor right if I just make let's put the monkey a little bit down and see what's going on it's just showing it's still showing the monkey even though it's going through the floor and uh, that's gonna help in other situations but in this situation it's not gonna help so I need to use this one because that's the one that's gonna cut it's gonna make the mask perfect okay so that's the difference that's why I made that so I can put it up a little bit again uh, we don't need it that was just for the example I'm gonna just put it make it okay so okay that's the where we're done with this one so you see that's the difference and the other cool thing about view layers is that uh, let's see maybe let's say I want the monkey to have more render passes than the floor okay so I put 50 samples so that's fine so now, now I'm gonna create another view layer so I'm just gonna click on this icon right here we have three options um, new copy settings and blank this one don't make much difference the blank is just gonna reset all of the um, these restriction toggles the other one is just gonna copy the settings but uh, the new one kinda works like the same so uh, it's, it's very important you see I'm gonna create a new one and I'm just gonna name it um, floor so don't get confused these are just view layers these are not scenes if I delete f 
for example, the monkey head on this uh, view layer name floor is also going to get the lead on the monkey view layer, right? It's they are all like um, it's the same scene. It doesn't matter. Whatever I do on this 3D view is going to work the same on the other one. So don't get confused with that. All that these view layers do is they control separately these uh, restriction toggles and some other settings that I'm going to show you right now. Other th uh, some other the other settings that are individual for each of the view layers are the render passes. So if I go to my render passes on the monkey view layer, if I activate let's say the ambient occlusion pass, and if I go back to the floor view layer, see it's not activated. And uh, that's cool because if I go to the this override option that we have here. Uh, let's say to the floor from to the floor I want to make um, I want less samples for the render okay so if I put here like I don't know 20 samples it's gonna override the main option that we put at the beginning that said uh, 50 okay so that's pretty pretty cool and uh, I could act I could also activate more um, render passes for the floor but I don't want to right now it's just um, not important right now, but for the monkey, I'm just going to activate this one that is the I'm in occlusion, so you can see. Okay, so um, for the monkey, we on the restriction toggles, we activated this one, it's fine. Now we're going to go to the floor view layer, and on this one, we need to do the opposite thing, which is going to be just turn off the monkey. But we don't really need this option because you see it's going to leave like a blank space there. Maybe we can use it, but um. I rather use the next option which is the undirect only and that one is gonna turn off the monkey but you can still see the contact shadows and the main shadow so that's gonna help us when we bring this image uh, together in compositing okay so okay we're ready so the last part the last step is that um, if I make a render right now I'm gonna go back to my monkey a view layer if I make a render right now, it's gonna make a render separate from the separately from the head and then one for the floor. But um, in my render passes, I have active. It's always active um, because that's the way it is. Um, it's always active when we start Blender. This combined pass, so it's also gonna make a render with both of them together. So that's gonna take twice the, as long for the render time. So I'm gonna make sure I turn this one off for both of them, maybe only for one I, I need it, but uh, I'm going to just turn it for both. Um, so that's going to make sure it's not going to take so much time on the render doing this combined, which we don't need right now. Alright, so I think we're ready. I'm just going to click on uh, my F12 on my keyboard and let's um, do this render. See, it's making 50 passes on the monkey. And let's just wait a little bit. It's, it's re very slow right now because I'm using my video card for recording my screen, so that's why it takes a while. Uh, but it's gonna finish pretty soon, and then it's gonna start doing the render for the floor. And you see, it's only doing 20 passes on the floor, so I can control each one separately. That's gonna help us if we have like um, something we don't really need to be that um, exact or that with su such definition as the main character maybe on an animation we can just make less samples on the on the background maybe okay so it's finished and now we're gonna go to our compositing I'm gonna activate use nodes deactivate backdrop I always do that bring a new window and turn this one in by uh, image editor make sure you have activated your node wrangler add-on is a free add-on uh, that way I can just press shift con control shift click and then I can see what's happening with each of these um, output nodes so you can see I have my image I have the ambient occlusion pass and I'm gonna duplicate this render layer with shift D and if you go to the to the bottom you can see that it says monkey this is the view layer named monkey but I can change it to the one that was called floor okay so if I change it I can see the floor so I have both of them right now separately and this one has the ambient occlusion the other one doesn't 
And if you want to learn more about um, render passes, just make sure to leave it on the comments so I can make another tutorial uh, more specific talking about render layers and excuse me about render passes all right so let's just combine these together I'm just gonna press Shiv A, go to my color mix and then just combine the monkey head with the floor uh, this I need to invert it if you will just let me yeah there we go and just turn this transparency and you can see now it's working I've just combined both of them and now each one I have it separately so uh, let's say I want to make a change on the floor I can just add another node maybe a uh, hue saturation and I can just switch the color and I can maybe just bring the saturation down or up and I don't have to be doing a render anymore you know that's um, the cool thing about using view layers. I could put uh, different render passes. Uh, um, yeah, render passes for each one. So yeah, that was that was the um, what I wanted to explain on this tutorial. If you wanna go more in depth about uh, view layers and render passes and compositing, I have this course that it's um, on Blender Market, on Cubebrush, and Gumroad which is named uh, Environment Design using Mid Journey and Blender on which I take uh, an AI uh, artificial intelligence generated image and then I use it as a concept for creating this whole environment so I show the whole process and uh, I'm gonna show you how to build this and use a lot of tools from Blender including all that um, including the view layers, render passes, render layers and a bunch of really cool stuff so I'm gonna leave some of the links on the description of this video and uh, that's it guys hope you like this video and I'm gonna be trying to post uh, some really cool tutorial for next week so see you guys later